Praise God, hallelujah, what a beautiful day God has given unto us where his mercies are new each and every morning. This morning God's mercies are upon us. This morning God's grace is upon us. This morning God's faithfulness is upon us. We need to thank God, we need to appreciate God, we need to acknowledge his mercies, his grace upon our life. The Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made that you shall rejoice and be glad in in it i'm so excited i'm so i'm so glad that this day i shall rejoice because of his goodness because of his mercy the bible says his, his grace and mercy follow me all the days of my life this morning i know god's grace is upon my life this morning we know god's mercies are upon our life this morning we need to thank him and appreciate it because the bible says in book of lamentation that God's mercies are new each and every morning. This morning, our God's mercies is new in our lives, in our family, in whatever we do. So we need to just to take time and worship God. May we just take time and worship Him. May we just take time and exalt Him. May we just take time and appreciate His goodness upon our life. May we just take time and acknowledge His presence in our life. God is ever there for us. God is, the Bible says, the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous to show Himself strong in our lives hallelujah we need to rejoice we need to rise up and adore him because he's worthy of all praise and adoration the bible says in the book of first the book of first chronicles chapter 16 i'll just read from verse 23 uh just read first chronicles chapter 20 chapter 16 verse 23 first chronicles chapter 16 verse 23 this is what it says sing to the lord all the earth Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Sing to the Lord all the earth, all the earth. Proclaim his, his, the, proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. God has saved you. God has protected you. God has preserved you. That is his salvation. No evil has happened to us the waking of today no evil has happened to us god has preserved us god has protected us god is he has shown us his salvation god has delivered us from destruction god has delivered us from evil so we need to proclaim his good news from day to day verse 24 says declare his glory among the nations his wonders among all the people for the lord is great and greatly to be praised he is also to be feared above all gods for all the for all the gods of people, for all the gods of people are idols, but the Lord made, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before Him. Strength and gladness are in His place. Verse twenty: Give to the Lord, all families of the people. Give to the Lord. Give the Lord glory and strength. Give to the Lord the glory due to His name. Bring an offering and come before Him. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness temple before him all the earth the world is also firmly established it it shall not be moved let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad and let them say among the nations the lord reigns hallelujah i want us just to pick verse 29 and verse 30 that one sorry verse 29 and verse 30 as we come before god in praise in worship in song in adoration to, because his praise is, is to be praised and greatly to be praised. Verse 29 says, Give to the Lord glory due to his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. May we worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. May we give to the Lord glory that is due to him. May we offer to him the praise and sacrifice of praise and worship with our lips. Verse 31 says, the, Let the earth rejoice and let the earth let the, let the heavens rejoice and, and let the earth be glad. And let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. May God, may we proclaim that the Lord reigns in our life, in our family, in our home. May we just take time and worship Him and adore Him and bring the sacrifice of praise to Him and adore Him and worship Him in the beauty of His holiness because He's worthy to be praised. Good and 
honor belongs to him. He's the maker of the heavens and the earth. He is worthy to be praised and adored because he has done great things in our life. Father, in the name of Jesus, we worship and we give you praise. We give you the adoration and give you the honor. We give you the majesty because you are worthy to be praised, oh God. You are worthy to be adored, oh God. My Lord, my God, this morning I worship you in the beauty of your holiness, oh God. I adore you and I magnify your holy name, oh dear Master. Be glorified and be exalted, O King of glory. We adore you and we honor your name. Holy, holy is you, my Redeemer. Holy, holy is you, my God. Hallelujah. What is your name, O God? My Lord, my God, we thank you, dear Master, because you are Lord God who reigns in our life, oh God. You are Lord God who reigns in our in, in our families, oh God. You are Lord God who reigns in each and every endeavor. So, dear Father, we go about to dear Master. And I do pray that this morning, may you continue to reign in every situation in our life, oh God. May your kingdom, oh dear Father, be established in our homes, oh God. May your kingdom be established in our families, oh God. May your kingdom be established in this nation, oh God. May your kingdom be established, oh dear Father, in our our place of worship of God. May your kingdom be established in our daily work, oh dear Master. May you reign, oh dear Master. May you take your rightful place in our lives, oh God. May you take your rightful place in our families, oh King of Lord. Because we are Lord God who reign, oh dear Master. Oh Father, you reign, oh Jehovah God, dear Master. My Father, we you reign, oh King of Lord. Father, we proclaim that you reign, oh dear Master. Day to day, Father, you reign, oh King of Lord. May you reign, oh King of Lord. My Lord, my God, dear Father, we decree and declare this morning you are worthy to be praised, oh dear Master. Master, for yours is the power, the glory, and the honor, and the majesty, O King of glory. Hallelujah, worthy is you, dear Master. We bless you and we adore you, dear Master. Father, we thank you, O God, dear Father, for your goodness, O God. We thank you, dear Master, for your mercies, O God. We thank you, dear Master, for your grace, O King of glory. We thank you, O God, for your compassion, O Jehovah God, dear Master. Father, you have been good to us, O dear Master. O dear Father, each and every day, O dear Master, each and every area of our life, Father, we see your goodness, oh God. We see your love, oh God. We see your provision, oh God. We see your keep, oh God. Oh Father, you have preserved us, oh dear Master. Oh dear Father, the one who does not slumber or sleep, oh dear Master, is your Lord God who watches over us, oh dear Master. And for this reason, we bless you and we adore you. And for this reason, we lift up your holy name, oh God, because you are worthy to be exalted, oh God. You are worthy to be adored, oh God. You are worthy to be magnified, oh dear Master. Receive the praise, oh God. Receive our praise this morning. Receive our worship this morning. Receive, oh dear Master, oh dear Master, oh dear Father, our thanksgiving this morning as we lift up your holy name, oh God. May you be lifted on high, oh dear Master. May you be magnified, oh God, oh dear Master, because you are worthy to be magnified, oh God. You are worthy to be lifted on high, oh God. You are worthy to be praised, oh dear Master. We bless you and we praise you. Holy, holy is you, my God. Holy, holy is you, oh God, my Redeemer. My Lord, my God, be magnified magnified and be exalted, be adored and be lifted on high. Hallelujah, dear Master. Oh, Father, we sing praise and honor to you, O oh God. We sing oh, hallelujah, hosanna to your name. Father, be blessed and be glorified, be adored, oh, dear Master. Be worshipped, be magnified, O oh, King of glory. For you as alone, oh, dear Father, is worthy, oh, dear Master. For you as alone, is, oh, dear Father, is to, you as alone, oh, God, oh, dear Father, is to be praised, oh, God. There's none other, oh, dear Father, can be likened unto you, O oh, God. There's no other, oh, dear Father, can be compared to you, dear Master. We magnify your name and we worship you, dear Master. Thank you, dear Master, because of this more wonderful time, dear Father, you have given unto us, dear Master, to worship and to give you praise, to give you adoration, to give you the honor. Thank you, dear Master, for this moment you have given unto us, dear Master, that, dear Father, you can commune on together, dear Master. Thank you, dear Master, because you have given us this time, dear Master, to minister to you, O oh God, dear Father, and in return, oh dear Father, to minister to us, O oh God. In the end, oh dear Master, may your name be glorified, O oh God, and may the blessing be ours, O oh dear Master. We thank you and we bless you in the name of Jesus. 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 I want us to look at it in the book of 1 Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter five verse twenty one. Second Corinthians chapter five verse twenty one. I want us to pick uh, something from that verse. Second 
second corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 this is what it says for he for he made him who knew no sin to be seen for us that we might become the righteousness of god in him for he, for he made him for he made him for he made him who knew no sin to be seen for us the bible said that god made christ jesus to be seen for us in other words jesus took our place and he became sin for that we might become the righteousness of god in christ jesus the Bible records that Jesus, who knew no sin, which means he, he knew no sin, he had done no sin, but he was made sin because of you and me. So that you and me, that we might become the righteousness of God. For because of that act, God sees us as his righteousness. God sees us as righteous people in Christ Jesus, in him. We have received righteousness as a gift. He, we have received righteousness as a gift. We have been made righteous in Christ Jesus. We have been made, we have become righteous. Because Jesus was made, so we became. Jesus has, has been made sin for us. So for us to become righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. It says, righteousness of God which means you and me who have believed Jesus to be Lord and Savior we have become the righteousness of God so we are God's righteousness we are God's righteousness in him in Christ in Christ Jesus so when God sees you he sees you as a righteous person because it's a gift to us it's not by our own effort. It's not by your own works. It's by the grace of God that we have become. We have become the righteousness of God in Christ. So you, where you are, you are righteous of God. You are the righteous of God. You are the righteous of God. May that sit in our mind that we are the righteous of God. We are the righteous of God. So there's some blessings and benefit that accrue to you and me because we are the righteous of God in Him, in Christ Jesus. Not by works, but in Christ who had made it, who offered Himself as a sin offering for you to become righteous, for you to be made righteous. So because of that, we need to rejoice. We need to know that we are the righteous of God. So all the promises that relate to the to the righteous belongs to you and me. The Bible says in the book of First Peter chapter three. First Peter chapter three, verse twenty, verse twelve. First Peter three twelve. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. Hallelujah. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. You have been made righteous. You have become righteous in Christ Jesus. You are the righteous of God. So because you are the righteous person, the Bible says the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, which are on you and on me. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears open to their prayers and his ears open to their prayers and his ears are open to their prayers hallelujah you are the righteous so you, are the, you have been made righteous you are the righteous of god so the bible says the eyes of the lord are upon the righteous which means that God's eyes are upon you. God's ears are upon your prayers. God's eyes are upon me. God's ears are upon my prayers. So this morning, by the grace of God, by the love of God, and by the mercies of God, God's eyes are on you. God's ears are on your cry. Now, this means that because God has made you righteous, He he wants to answer to your prayer. Because God, Christ Jesus has made you righteous, He wants 
He wants God to look on you, to look into your affairs, to be mindful of you, to be anxious, to be so conscious of you that is all attention to be on you because you are the righteous of God. He said, for the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. So you are the righteous that God wants to show himself strong. You are the righteous God wants to, to minister to your affairs, to act on your affairs. You are the righteous that his ears are upon your upon your upon your prayers this morning so be confident this morning that god is looking on you god is looking on you his eyes are on you be confident that his ears are upon your cries his ears are upon your prayers i want us just to look at another scripture before we enter into prayer we, uh, before we enter into prayer let us look at uh, Proverbs chapter 15 Proverbs chapter 15 Proverbs chapter 15 verse 29 Pro Proverbs chapter 15 verse 29 this is what it says The Lord is far from the wicked, but the ears, of, but but He hears the prayer of the righteous. Hallelujah! God has made you righteous in Christ Jesus. It's a gift that you have received. So God, you can stand on the promise of God and say, Father, you are according to your word. It says He hears the prayer of the righteous. So this morning, God is going to hear your prayers. You can come to him with so much confidence, trusting God that he's going to hear your prayers. The Bible says he hears the prayer of the righteous. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter, chapter 3, verse 12, his ears are open to the prayers of the righteous. Here the Bible says in the proverb, he hears the prayer of the righteous. So you are the righteous person whom God has made in Christ Jesus. In him, God is going to hear your prayers. In him, his eyes are going to be on you. So it's not in vain when you pray to God. God hears those prayers. It's not in vain God hears your prayer. It's not in vain that you sacrifice this early morning. It's not in vain that you, you pray to God. Your prayers are not in vain. God hears the prayers of the righteous. Psalms 34. Psalms 34. Two more scriptures, then we thank God because our prayers are going to be heard this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalms 34 verse 17. Psalms chapter 34 verse 17. This is what it says. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears and delivers them out of of all their troubles. Hallelujah. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears. Oh, hallelujah. The righteous cry out. As you are going to cry this morning, you the righteous of God. God hears and is going to deliver you from the situation you are in. Whatever pet petition you are going to make, be making to God this morning, God is going to hear it and is going to deliver you from that trouble. The Bible says the righteous cry out to God. I want us to cry out to God. Whatever situation that is affecting us this morning, whatever situation that you are in, whatever environment that you have found ourselves in, may we cry out to God and the Bible says he, and it delivers them out from all their troubles. Is it financial issues? Is it fin lack of finances? Is it pain that you are going through? Is it that family issues? Is it whatever situation that you are in? May you cry out to God this morning because the Bible said the Lord hears and delivers them all from all their troubles. God is, is able to deliver you from the trouble that you are in this morning in the name of Jesus. I want us also to look in the book of James. What I'm doing this morning, I'm building our faith. I'm building our faith. Faith comes by hearing and by the hearing the word of God. I'm building up our faith. The Bible says that upon the witness of truth shall our word be established. So I'm giving you more than two verses that it, that it may be established this morning in the name of Jesus. James chapter, James chapter 5 verse 16. James 5.16 This is what it says. 
Confess your sin one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. The effective prayer of the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. You see, you are the righteous, but the righteous. So you say your effective prayer, your effective and fervent prayer avails much, secures results. One version puts it this way, the honest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produce wonderful results. Your prayers have so much power because of, of the righteousness God has make, made you. The gift of righteousness you have been given. So the prayer that you make uh, avails much, produce more, much results. You see, the prayer, the honest prayer of a righteous man has great power. Because of that righteousness that is in you in Christ Jesus, the prayer that you are going to make produce much results, produce wonderful results, it has great power. What is it that you are in this morning? God is ready to hear your prayers. God is ears are open to your prayers. The Bible says the, the, the ears of the Lord are open to your, to, to your prayers. The ears of the Lord, Proverbs, the Bible says, the ears of the Lord are open to your prayers. First Peter 3.12, he hears, his ears are open to, your, to their prayers. First Peter 3.12, hallelujah. What, what a comforting word. What a comforting scripture that his ears are open to your prayers. Father, I thank you. I have no more words to say this morning, but just to say thank you, O oh God. To say thank you, Jesus. To say thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Because your ears are open to our prayers. Your ears are open to our prayers. Because you have made us righteous, O oh God. Your word says, O oh dear Father God and the Master, that you, Christ Jesus was made sin for us that we may become the righteousness of God in him, O oh God. And this morning, I thank you, dear Master, for the privilege and honor to be made righteous in your sight, O oh God. And because of that, O oh dear Master, you have said in your word, O oh dear Master, your eyes are upon us, O oh God, and your ears are open to our prayers, O oh King of glory. My Lord, my God, for this reason, I thank you, dear Master, that whenever I come to you, O oh God, whenever I come to you in prayer, O oh dear Master, you are hearing us, O oh God. You are hearing me, O oh God, because I'm the righteous of God in Christ Jesus, O oh dear Master. Father, I thank you, dear Master, because you have said, O oh dear Master, that, O oh dear Father, the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much, O oh dear Master. That, O oh dear Father, our honest prayer, O oh dear Master, O oh dear Father, have great power, dear Master, O oh dear Father, and produce wonderful results, O oh dear Master, and produce wonderful results, O oh dear Master. Father, I thank you, dear Master, because you have said in your word, O oh Jehovah God, O oh dear Master, that the righteous cry out to you, O God, that whenever we cry out to you, O God, O dear Master, you are Lord God who hear us, O dear Master, and you deliver us from each and every trouble, O God. My Lord, my God, I thank you and I bless you. My Lord, my God, O dear Father, I thank you, dear Master, because, O dear Master, you are ready to hear us, O dear Master, because you have been made righteous, O God. My Lord, my God, this morning, O God, O dear Master, I do pray, O God, O dear Master, may each and every petition that you shall make this morning, O dear Master, be high before you, O oh dear Master, and may you answer us, O oh Jehovah God, O oh dear Master, because this is your will, O oh God, to hear our prayers, O oh dear Father, and to answer us each on each and every petition that we make, O oh God. My Lord, my God, there are us, O oh dear Father, there are some of us, there are my brothers and sisters in the Lord, O oh dear Master, whom you have made righteous, O oh God, are trusting you, O oh God, O oh dear Father, for breakthrough in life, O oh God, for breakthrough, O oh dear Master, in job searching, O oh God, breakthrough, O oh God, O oh dear Master, in employment, O oh God, breakthrough, O oh God, God of the Master in their businesses, oh God. Breakthrough, oh God of the Master in the land's office, oh God. Breakthrough, oh God of the Master, oh dear Father, in oh dear Father, in court cases, oh dear Master. Breakthrough, oh dear Master, in whatever their endeavors, on, oh God. I do pray, Jehovah God, may we experience your breakthrough, oh God. May we experience your favor, oh God. May we experience your grace, oh God. May we experience, oh Jehovah God of the Master, breakthrough, oh dear Master, in the life of our children, oh dear Master. Yes, our, our children, oh dear Master, have, oh dear Father, have graduated, oh dear Master, from college. Oh dear Master, and other school, oh dear Master, of oh dear Father of profession, oh God. I do pray in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear Master, may they experience.
business and break through their father in the job search in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear master. We pray, oh dear father, for our children, oh dear master, oh dear father, who are in colleges of God. May you grant them break through their master in their career, oh dear master. May you grant them break through job, oh dear father, in their course of God. May you grant them break through, oh God, oh dear father, in whatever they are doing, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear master. My Lord, my God, I pray for our children, oh dear master, who have just, oh dear father, finished, oh dear father, doing a form for exams, oh dear master, and that is also out of their master. Then that, oh dear father, who have made it, oh dear father, to you to, to be admitted in the university, father, we thank you, oh God. And them that, oh dear father, who have not made it, oh God, father, I pray, Jehovah God, may you give them a guidance, oh dear master. Father, I pray for all, oh dear father, whatever results they got, oh dear master, may you grant them, oh dear father, direction, oh God. May you grant them, oh dear father, wisdom, oh God. In their career choice, oh dear father, direct them, oh God. In their career choice, oh dear father, minister to them, oh God. Speak to them, oh dear master. Lead them, oh dear father, to the best career that, oh dear father, they shall receive most, oh dear master, that, oh dear father, their passion shall be into, oh God, their father, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear master. May you grant, oh dear father, their parents, oh dear father, school fees, oh God. May you grant them break to their master, grant them school fees, oh Jehovah God, their master. That some of their father trusting you for school fees, oh dear master. I do pray, may you give them school fees, oh God. School fees, oh dear father, for the children who are in school, oh dear master. Whatever level, oh dear master. Father, open that door and grant them school fees in the name of Jesus. I thank you, dear master. I do pray for them that are sick, oh God. Father, you have said the prayer of a righteous man avails much, oh dear father, is of great power, dear father, and secure results, oh dear master. I do pray in the name of Jesus Christ, oh King of God, for them that are sick in their bodies, oh dear master, them that, oh dear father, have chronic sickness, oh dear master, high blood pressure, oh dear master, sugar diabetes, oh Jehovah God, oh dear master, blood pressure, low blood pressure, or high blood pressure, oh dear master, diabetic, oh Jehovah God, oh dear master, or any other ailment, oh dear father, be it cancer, be it arthritis, oh God, you are Lord God who heals, oh dear master, father, you have said in your word, you are Lord God who hears the prayers of the righteous, oh dear master, father, I speak healing, oh God, oh dear father, upon the sick, oh God, father, we pray for them that are sick in our midst, oh God, father, I speak a word of healing, oh dear father, upon my aunt, oh dear master, who's admitted, oh God, in that hospital, dear master, I do pray in the name of Jesus, Christ, oh dear master, may your healing virtue flow from head to toe, in the name of Jesus, Christ, oh dear master, father, we decree, oh God, oh dear father, that, oh dear father, that report, oh dear father, shall not prevail, oh God, that the bad report shall not prevail, oh dear master, that bad report shall not prevail in the name of Jesus, Christ, oh dear master, because our Lord God who is our healer, dear master. You heal us of all our sickness and disease, oh God. Father, you have said in your word, you sent forth your word, oh dear master, and healed us of each and every sickness, oh dear master. You are Lord God who restores our health, oh dear master. My Lord, my God, you have said in your word, oh dear father, by the sons of Jesus, we were healed, oh dear master. Father, that healing, oh dear father, we claim it upon our lives, oh God. We claim it upon our bodies, oh God. Father, I speak that healing virtue, oh God, to flow upon the heat, oh dear father, the life of my aunt this morning in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, oh dear master, and we decree, oh God, Father, we pray, oh God, may that leg not be dead, oh dear Father, amputated, oh God, oh dear master, may each and every dead cell come to life once again, oh dear master, Father, you are Lord God, oh dear Father, who bring dead things back to life, oh dear master, Father, you are Lord God, oh dear Father, who raises us from the tomb, oh Joe, from the tomb, oh Jehovah God, oh dear master, and I do pray in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear Father, may you heal, oh dear master, may you bring that leg, oh dear Father, back to life in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear master, May that those dead cells live once again in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear master. My Lord, my God, oh dear father, you are Lord God who said in your word, oh dear master, that you are Lord God of all flesh, oh dear master. Is there anything too difficult for you, oh God? Is there anything too hard for you, oh God? Is there anything too hard for you, Jehovah God, oh dear master? You are Lord God, oh dear father, who, who, you are Lord God of possibilities, oh God. You are Lord God who can do more exceedingly above, and before, above than what we think or imagine, oh God. My Lord, my God, you will bring that those legs back to life in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear master. Father, in oh dear father, that ailment, oh dear father, may it be consumed in the name of Jesus. May your life flow once again in those legs in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear master. My Lord, my God, you are Lord God of all flesh, oh God. You are Lord God of all flesh in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear master. My Lord, my God, we trust you, oh God, oh dear master, for our loved ones, oh dear master, who have not come to the saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, oh dear master. Our children, oh dear master, who are consumed consumed, oh dear Father, by drugs, oh God. Our children who are consumed by worldliness, oh Jehovah God, oh dear Master. May you bring them, oh dear Master, oh dear Father, to the saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, oh dear Master. I pray for them that are addicted, oh Jehovah God, oh dear Master. Them that were called by your name, oh dear Master, but are addicted, oh dear Father, by the oh dear Father, issues of life, oh dear Master, by habits of God, drunkenness, oh dear Master, pornographic, oh Jehovah God, oh dear Master. I do pray in the name of Jesus.
Jesus Christ to the master. May they be loosened on their father from every or their father from every addiction of God. May, may they be loosened from every captivity, Jehovah God to the master. May they be loosened, Jehovah God to the father, from every yoke of the enemy on their master. In the name of Jesus Christ to the master. My Lord, my God to their father, we decree this morning every weapon formed against us on their father to destroy our family unit of God, to destroy their father, the love, the life of our loved ones, so Jehovah God to the master. May we decree this morning, oh God, oh dear Father, we pray may that, oh dear Father, we will never prevail in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear Master. Oh Father, restore, dear Master, our marriages, oh God. Restore, dear Father, our homes, oh dear Master. Restore, dear Father, our life of our loved ones, oh God. Restore us, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear Master. Father, I pray, Jehovah God, oh dear Master, our loved ones shall not be lost, oh God. Our loved ones shall not be lost, oh God. Our loved ones shall not be lost, oh dear Father, by immortality, oh dear Father, and the wicked ways of this world, oh dear Master, in the name of Jesus Christ the master because we're not God who saves all their master your hand is not too short to save all their master may your hand be seen in the life of their father of our homes of God of our loved ones of their master in the name of Jesus Christ of their master my Lord my God on this morning of their master we shall not suffer lack of their master because we're not God of their father is for us of their master and if you're for us of their father who can be against us of their master we thank you God because we're not God who hears our prayers of their master we pray to you oh dear father do hear us and do deliver us of their master I thank you, dear Master, because we are Lord God who hears our prayers, O oh dear Master. We thank you and we worship you in the name of Jesus. 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 I want just to mention a few scriptures and I want you to run with them. I want it's my prayer that you may run with these verses. These are great promises of God concerning you, concerning us. You have been made righteous in Christ Jesus. You are the righteous of God. You are the righteousness of God in Him, in Christ Jesus. And there's a blessing that accrues by virtue of you being made righteous. There's a blessing that comes to you by the virtue of you being made righteous. You have been made the righteousness of God. So you need to walk in the blessing of the righteousness of God. I just want to pick one or two scriptures. This is what it says in the book of Proverbs. Chapter 10, Proverbs 10. We need to walk head tall because of the goodness of the Lord, because of his mercies, because of his grace, because of his hallelujah. His favor upon us. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 10, verse 6, Blessings are on the head of the righteous. Hallelujah. Blessings are on the head of the righteous. Blessings are on the head of the righteous. Blessings. You are the righteous. The Bible says the blessings are on your head. Hallelujah. Name any blessing that you may think of. You are the head and not the tail. You shall not be in debt. You shall learn, but you shall never be, never be in debt. The blessings that whatever you shall touch shall prosper. Hallelujah. Blessings are on your head. The Bible says the blessings are on the head of the righteous. I claim that promise in the name of Jesus. Blessings are on my head. Blessings are on my head. Whatever I do shall prosper. I shall walk in the favor of the Lord. I shall walk in the grace of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord is on my side. I shall flourish. I shall prosper. The blessings are on the head of the righteous. The blessings are on the head of the righteous. Blessings are on your head, my sister. Blessings are on your head, my brother. You are destined to prosper. You are destined to progress. You are destined to, uh, to greatness. Because the blessings of the Lord are on your head. Verse 24 of the same chapter. The fear of the wicked will come upon him. And the desires of the righteous will be granted. Because of the blessings of the Lord are upon your head. The Bible says, your desire shall be granted. It says, 
and the desire of the righteous, for the righteous, whom God has made righteous, shall be granted. What do you desire this morning? Because of the blessings of the Lord are upon your head, your desires shall be granted. Your desires shall be granted. What do you desire this morning? Your desires shall be granted. Your desires shall be granted. Your desires shall be granted. Let's look at verse 28. The hope of the righteous will be gladness. Whatever you are hoping for will be granted. The, the hope of the, of the righteous will be, grand, will be gladness. Your ho- the only hope that you have is to make you glad. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you my, for the blessing to be on my head. Proverbs 15, Proverbs chapter 15. Proverbs 15 verse 6. See what it says. In the house of the righteous there is much treasure. Hallelujah. In the house of the righteous there is much treasure. In your house. In your house. In my house. There are treasures. There are treasures. May we decree that. In my house. In your house. Because I am the righteous of God. They are treasures in my house. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Psalms, I just want to give you one or two scriptures. But there are, more, there are many more. There are many more. Psalms chapter 5 verse 12. For you, O oh Lord, I will bless. Hallelujah. For you, O oh Lord, bless the righteous. For you, you, for you, O oh Lord, will bless the righteous. For you, O oh Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor you will, you will surround him as with a shield. You are blessed. Favor of God surrounds you as a shield. Oh, for you, O oh Lord, you will bless the righteous. With, we, will favor, with favor you will surround him. Favor surrounds you. With favor you will surround him as a shield. And the way shield protects you, the favor of the Lord protect you. The favor of the Lord will make you stand out. The favor of the Lord will make you distinct because it's a shield around you. Because of the blessings of the Lord are on your head. Psalms 37. Psalms 37. Psalms 37. Verse 25 and 26. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made shall rejoice. I have been young and now I'm old. I've been young, now I'm old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his descendant begging for bread. He's ever merciful and lends. His descendants are blessed. Hallelujah. I've been young and now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Ah, may we claim that promise. The psalmist say he has been young, now he's old, which means he has advanced in age. He has never seen the young, he has never seen the righteous forsaken, which means God will never forsake you. God will never forsake you because you are the righteous of God. God will never forsake you because you are the righteous of God. No, you do know his descendants, which means your children will never beg, which means they will never lack. God will provide. Hallelujah. Oh, my children will never beg. My children will never beg for bread. My children will never beg for bread because of the righteousness of God upon my life. Because God will never forsake me in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, verse 26, he will ever be merciful. He is ever merciful and lands, and his descendants are blessed. Your descendants are blessed in the name of Jesus. Just two more quickly, then we just thank God. What I'm doing, I'm creating your faith so that you may stand on the word of God. So that you may proclaim the goodness of the Lord. Psalms 92, verse 12 and 15. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar of the Lebanon. The righteous shall flourish. Which means you are destined to flourish. You are destined to reign. You are destined to move forward. Those who, those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the course of the 
God. They shall, they shall be still, they shall still bear fruits in their order, they shall be fresh and flourishing. To declare the Lord, to declare that the Lord is upright, he is, he is my rock and my, and there is no unrighteousness in him. We are the righteousness of God. He said, you shall flourish, you shall grow in the name of Jesus. Oh, Proverbs, finally, let me just give you a final one, then we thank God because of what he has done to our life. This is the grace of God. This is the love of God for you. This is the mercies of God for you. This is the steadfast love for God towards you in the name of Jesus because he has made you righteous and on top of that, he has blessed you. Verse 7, Proverbs 12, 7. The wicked are overthrown and no more, but the house of the righteous, but the house of the righteous, but the house of the righteous shall stand. Ooh! But the house of the righteous will stand in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this morning because of your master, the so marvelous promise you have given us are we as the righteous. Father, it's by your grace and by your love that you are saved this morning. It's by the grace and by your love that you have made us righteous. It's by your grace and by your love that you have made us righteous. And on top of that, oh dear master, you have blessed us, oh God. You have not only made us righteous, oh dear master, but you have blessed us, oh dear master. For you have said the blessings are on the head of the righteous, oh dear master. My Lord, my God, this morning, this morning, your blessings are upon my head. This morning, your blessings are upon the head of those the righteous of God. Because of your blessing, my Father, we shall stand tall. Because of your blessing, we shall succeed. Because of your blessing, we shall flourish. Because of your blessing, we shall grow. Because of your blessings, the Father, we shall move forward. Because of your blessings, oh God, the Father, our house shall stand. In the name of Jesus, because of your Master. I thank God, your Master, because of your blessings, oh God. May your blessing shall cause us to prosper. Your blessing shall cause us to move on. Your blessing shall cause us to succeed in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear master. Your blessing, God, oh dear master, shall make us, oh dear master, be distinct, oh dear father, from the rest of God. Father, I thank you, oh dear master, because you have said in your word, oh dear master, that our desire shall be granted, oh dear master. My Lord, my God, I do pray for desire of each and every one of us, oh dear father, who, whom you have made righteous. May they be granted in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear master. May any weapon, oh dear father, may take to hinder our blessings of God. May they be defeated in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear Master, Father, you have said in your word, oh God, oh dear Master, the hope of the righteous of the righteous will be gladness, oh God. May we be glad, may we be glad, may, you are, may we be glad in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear Master. Father, you have said the house of the righteous, oh dear Father, there is much treasure. May treasure be found in our homes, oh God. May treasure be found in our houses, oh God. May treasures be found in our homes, oh God. May treasures be found in our houses, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear Master. I thank you, dear Master. I thank you and I give you praise. May you surround us, O oh dear Father, with favor as uh, with a shield, O oh dear Master. Father, you have said, O oh dear Father, you will bless the righteous, O oh dear Master, with favor, O oh King of God. May your favor surround us, O oh God. Bless us with your favor, O oh God. May your favor surround us, O oh God. May your favor surround us, O oh God. May your favor surround us as a shield, O oh Jehovah God, O oh dear Master, that wherever we go, may we stand out, O oh dear Master. Wherever we go, may we be, be picked, O oh God. Wherever we go, dear Father, may we be accepted, O oh God. May you, your favor grant us breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear master. I thank God, dear master. Father, you have said in your word, oh God, oh dear master, that you, oh dear father, David was young, but now he's old, oh dear master. He has never seen you, oh God, forsaking the righteous of Jehovah God, oh dear master. My Lord, my God, no, that children begging for bread. Father, may you not forsake us, oh dear master. Father, you have said in your word, you shall never leave us, nor forsake us, oh dear master. No, oh dear father, not even our children to beg bread, oh God. May our children never lack, oh God. May we never lack, oh God. No forsake us, oh dear master, and not our children lack, oh dear master. Be it food, be it food, whatever that they, they need, oh God, may they be supplied because of your favor, dear master. Because of your favor in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear master. Bless the work of our hands, oh dear master. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear master. Father, you have said, oh dear father, the righteous, oh dear father, shall grow, dear master. Oh dear father, shall flourish, oh dear father, like a palm tree, oh dear master. And they shall go like a cedar, oh God, cedar tree, Jehovah God, oh dear master. May it be it, may it be so, oh God, in our lives, oh dear master. May it be so in our life, oh Jehovah God, oh dear master. May it be so in, our, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear Father. May we flourish and grow in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear Master. But the house of the righteous shall stand, O oh God. Father, we decree, our oh God, that the, our house shall stand, O oh God. Our marriage shall stand, O oh dear Master. Our family unity shall stand in the name of 
Jesus Christ of the Master. No, we performed against us shall prosper because we have been made righteous and the blessing of the righteous belongs to us. In the name of Jesus Christ of the Master. I thank you and I bless you in the name of Jesus. God has blessed you. You are the righteous of God. May we may thank him through our giving. May we worship him through our giving because he has made us righteous and we shall flourish and we shall prosper and we shall advance and we shall grow. Oh, hallelujah. We can do that in, in two ways. We can do that through M-Pesa. The details are there on the screen. Number is 842050. What you are giving is the account, account details, be it offering, be it love offering, thanksgiving, whatever you want to give, you, you can do so through M-Pesa or you can do it through bank details, internet banking, online banking, mobile banking, the account details are on the screen that there is family bank. As you do so, may, may you continue to walk in the blessings of the Lord because the Bible says the, the blessings are on the head of the righteous. God bless you and bless you indeed. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. <laughs>